Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 33 of KMB Comer Plays Minecraft. And I'm down here at bedrock level, and can you guys guess where I am? You've seen this place before in a previous episode, although it might be a little obscure. Give up? Okay, we are down where I killed the wither, and I am preparing to do some more wither killing. Uh, so I've got everything set up here except for placing down uh, everything I need to kill the withers. So last time I used iron golems and we're doing that again. And somebody requested in the comments that I do a fight uh, with iron golems versus five withers. And today we're going to do that. I got 15 wither skeleton skulls and yeah, we're doing it. We are doing it. I've got to put my mouse back into clicky mode. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to take any chances uh, with this going poorly. So, whoops, that's not right. I am going to use extra golems. Uh, we're going to go with these two I have. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, I can't get it out. Mm. Oh, okay, well, he's almost dead. <laughs> okay, good start there. Uh, you stay in the back. <laughs> All right, we're using um, <laughs> uh, 22, well, 21 and a half iron golems. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Uh, yeah, you can't spawn them right next to a wall. I knew that. Oh, come on. <laughs> get out of here okay I'm gonna get all these guys spawned up and then uh, I'll bring you guys back into this when we are ready to go so uh, yeah I'll be back in a sec okay I got my iron golems all spawned up there's 22 of them in there um, I'm really hoping that this is overkill for five withers if it's not uh, well I'm gonna have problems but um, yeah, I really hope that's enough. Either way, I think this fight's going to be over really quick. So when I was spawning them, I just uh, I dug this spot up that was a little bit higher so I could spawn them in there and then push them off into uh, the group here. So we got the uh, Iron Golem army there. And uh, last time I fought a Wither with Iron Golems, I learned two things. Uh, first of all, Withers, when they spawn, they explode. And... Um, it's a little bit weaker than the ranged attack they do to blow up blocks. Uh, so their initial spawn explosion will not blow up obsidian. So what I've done is I've put an obsidian ceiling over where I'm going to spawn the withers. Uh, so when they explode, they'll stay down close to ground level so that the iron golems can hit them. The second thing I learned, uh, I learned this one the hard way, is that iron golems, as soon as they see a wither start spawning, they will charge it and try to kill it immediately. So, uh, in order to combat that, last time, you know, they charged the wither and got killed by uh, the initial explosion, I put up these fence gates and I just have redstone leading to each one. Really simple setup comes to a lever over here so I can release them as soon as the withers spawn and not a second earlier so uh, yeah we are just about ready to go here and either way I think this is gonna be over really fast so let's get this going here I'm gonna set up all the soul sand and then I'm going to put two skulls on each here yeah we're still under the obsidian and then we're going to finish it off. So, uh, uh, okay, I guess I'll go like this. Start at that end, and we'll go along the back. And uh, we'll try to be really quick about it. Actually, I might want to give myself a little walkway along the back there so I can get this done a little quicker. Let's do that. Uh, grab some cobble. Take, get rid of these. We're not going to be able to see much anyways. They're going to blow everything up as soon as, uh, as soon as we start this. So, okay. Uh, as soon as I put this skull on, we're going. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
baby. Woo. And here comes the explosions. Come on. Okay, they're out. Oh boy. Come on. Get him. <laughs> I can't see a thing. It looks like one might already be dead. Maybe? I'm not sure. I really <laughs> have no idea what's going on in there. One's definitely dying. You can see the health bar there at the top. Oh, come on. Get him. Uh-oh. Are they losing? Oh, please no. Come on. Oh, he's going down. Is that it? I think we got them all. There's one nether star. They're all dying from the wither effect. Come on. Give me some more. There's two. Three, four... Five. Got five. Got all five stars. So we get five more beacons. These guys did the job. Uh, don't know how many of them are going to live. But, um... <laughs> That was cool. I enjoyed that. And all it cost me was some iron. Didn't have to make any super suit of armor or anything for that. And uh, these leftover guys will just wander around down here until next time. And wow, the, uh, huh, this area survived extremely well. Um, the obsidian, well, let's get some torches out. The obsidian is completely gone. Ah, well, there's one block there. I think, yeah, that's all that, uh, oh, two more there. So, yeah, they blew it up, but it did the job. You can see that uh, the ceiling's still pretty low, kept everything down pretty low, and I like this method of killing withers. Keep me out of the danger zones. So that worked beautifully, and uh, I'm going to get some beacons made up, and then I'll be back, and we'll continue with the episode. Well, I got five beacons made. Very happy about that. And you might be wondering where I got the Wither Skeleton Skulls, and we will get to that a little bit later. But I want to put these babies in place. So, first one I'm doing is... Uh, let's see. Doesn't matter which side I put it on. I'm going to go with this side. So, this one we are doing with... Haste 2. And done. And now we should... There we go. Speed 2, Haste 2. Ah, yeah. So we're putting Haste 2 here. Because um, this is kind of in line with my uh, mine, which runs kind of this way. And um, so what I'm going to do with the other four is... Let's get to the top and I'll show you guys. So yeah, my uh, let's see, we got two beams here now. Oh yeah. So as I was saying, my mine uh, it's centered. Did I hear a zombie knocking on doors? Nope. Okay, it's centered underneath the campanile. So uh, I got the haste one on the outside, on this side, closer to uh, most of the mine, and um. What I'm going to do with the other ones is I'm going to measure it out and put the other one uh, so its radius just touches this one's radius over that way. Uh, I'm going to build my pyramid down in the ground, wherever that needs to be. Same as that one. Uh, let's see, where will it be? It'll probably end up being somewhere around here. I'm not sure exactly, but I'll work it out. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing that first, and then I'm going to put another speed 2 haste 2 on that uh, So that I got haste 2 in a lot of my mind, which will be absolutely amazing And then I am going to do the other two corners with speed 2 So I will have full coverage of fast running here in my base and half coverage of super fast mining and then I'll make up a really nice efficiency 5 pick and probably start strip mining the hell out of this area. So uh, I'm going to start building some more underground pyramids and measuring all that stuff out. And yeah, I'll cut here and I'll back when I got something to show. 
Well, I have uh, another pyramid built here, not all polished up yet. I'm going to work on that later uh, by myself. Uh, I still got two beacons left to place, as you can see, but in the interest of getting this episode out uh, sometime this week... Um, wait. Oh, right. I didn't choose. Okay, we're going haste to. Aw, uh, yeah. So, yeah, in the, ep in the interest of getting this episode out sometime this week, I am going to uh, stop with the beacons here for today. But, I'll just show you guys uh, this one, and then if we uh, pop down here into the mineshaft, uh, you can see we are near the old zombie farm. You can just see it down there, string farm right there. Uh, exit over here. Uh, there's the ladder up. But now I have speed 2, haste 2, covering the vast majority of my mineshaft. And that is just spectacular. It goes a long way. Here's the other beacon here, right above us. And uh, yeah, so let's see. We are centered under it right here. That's where the central uh, speed beacon is. Uh, speed 2 on us there, just refreshed. And the way that radius works right now is if I go to, uh, let's see, I was at 12, <laughs> I forgot already, I think I was negative 1270. Yes. So then we just, um, we just subtract 50 from that and we go to negative 1320 right here. This is just at the edge of that beacon. And we're refreshing there. And then this one, uh, negative 13, 21, um, should be just the edge of the other one. And then, actually, now that I think about that, that might be wrong. <laughs> I might have a one block overlap. If that's the case, I'll just, uh, I'll just move it. But, whoops, where did I go? Here. Yes. Yes, here is the other one, and uh, so 1370, uh, yeah, that's 100 blocks from the other one. So um, I'll check that one more time to make sure I don't have any overlap, but uh, yeah, we got some, some great speed going on here, and now I am going to show you what we've been working on that helped me get so many wither skeleton skulls. So I'm going to cut here, and we'll be back in a sec. Well, I'm over here on my way to that uh, that nether fortress. Yeah, that's what they're called. I brought the faux hammer with me. You can see it's taking quite a lot of damage now. And that's because I've been killing a lot of wither skeletons. Now this project is still uh, in progress. We got a lot of work to do yet, but we have done a lot of work. So let's take a look at uh, what my friends and I have been doing here. So, we come down here and we have uh, spawning platforms here. Um, I have to go back and redo these and I'll tell you why in a couple minutes, but you can see, oh, blazes. And then beyond that, we have a lot of open space, as you can see. Uh, this was a lot of digging so far and there's still a lot more to do, but we're coming along, and we have one wither skeleton there, so you can see these spawning pads, they're working, and I've gotten a lot of practice fighting out here. I can, oh, haha, <laughs> beautiful, we got a skull, but um, yeah, I can kill these, uh, these skeletons without taking hits most times now, and uh, pretty good at fighting the blazes in melee combat too. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, right? Um, but yeah, this is working fairly well. Uh, well, you see, I've just got here and already gotten another skull. Um, but yeah, let's go over just uh, what we've got going on here. So, everywhere you see an obsidian block... Oh, hey there. <laughs> Let me just kill this guy quick. No skull that time. Darn. Uh, yeah, okay. Anywhere you see an obsidian block, that's marking out... Oh, whoa. <laughs> he startled me. That's marking out uh, the bounding box of one of our 
nether fortress sections. So let's take a look here, for example. This is the corner of a four-way intersection. So we come here uh, 17 blocks over. We have the other edge here, um, 17 blocks. No, sorry, 19 blocks? I believe it's 19. Let's check real quick. So we got uh, negative 59 and 77. Yeah, that's... Ah, whatever. <laughs> It's, it's it's a big area, and then uh, that extends down to that corner right there, and all these bounding boxes are inclusive of the obsidian blocks, so, oh, let's go take that guy out. How do you get over there? Um, so, the obsidian block, they can spawn in that block, so those, uh, those obsidian blocks are actually taking out a little bit of spawning space right now, but we'll get rid of them after we got all this finished up. So, uh, yeah, you can see we have a lot of spawning space. It's a bit of an awkward shaped area, but uh, we have... Put some of these out. Uh, leave me alone. We have... Um, oh, I'm on the second level. I want to be on the third. Let's just pop up here. And, okay. So this first one, this is a four-way intersection. And then directly adjacent to it, we have another four-way intersection. So that makes this big rectangular area. Um, this spot right here, uh, laid out there, and those corners. I believe that was one of the. Um, I, th I believe that's one of the smaller intersections, the ones with a little bit of a roof overhead. I think that's what that was. Uh, stop shooting at me oh god okay <laughs> I'll just try to muddle through with uh, with them firing at me uh, let's see here this one um, oh geez I'm, I, I'm having trouble oh <laughs> big man took a hit maybe anyways we have uh, I have them all laid out here I can't remember what they all are at the moment but um, we got them all laid out uh, so that we can get the spawning pads in place. You can see we have some that we still need to put in here. There was a, a blaze spawner around here somewhere. Um, this right here, this is a pretty big one on the end. That was uh, one of the lava rooms. Um, so they're pretty good size. I think they're like 13 by 13 by some number high. I can't remember exactly. Um, this end right here, it's kind of narrow and tall. That's uh, one of the staircases. Um, we got a couple of the more square rooms with the, um, the one block high staircases on the end here. We won't lay that all out. Um, but the reason I said I have to probably adjust the spawning platforms, let me just get away from these blazes here, they're really starting to be annoying. Um, the reason I think I have to adjust the spawning platforms is because I thought they adjusted um, wither skeletons so that they can no longer spawn in a too high space, but just from what I've seen, that does not seem to be the case. I know for sure that... Uh, that they adjusted wither skeletons so that they suffocate if their head ends up spawning in a solid block. Um, so they do have a three high hitbox now, but right over there, you can see that's still too high there, and I saw a, uh, a wither skeleton spawn there and suffocate in the ceiling. So I have a three and a half uh, block gap between these spawning platforms, but I think I can lower that to uh, a too high and increase my spawning area by around 33%, so that would increase the efficiency a lot. And um, let's talk about the space on the edge. I know I'm rambling here. These blazes are really distracting. So, um, you know, to maximize spawning efficiency in, a, in an area like this you got to have your uh, air blocks out to the sides 25 blocks out um, so that's what we've been working on it's definitely overkill but uh, you know we like overkill around here so 
this is tw mm, excuse me 25 blocks out from the uh, the corners here so yeah if we counted the furthest corner which would be that obsidian block it's 25 blocks out to here and then 25 blocks from its other face over to here so we're going 25 blocks all around the edge all edges we still got a lot of digging to do on that side we have uh, a little more digging to do over there and we're uh, lining the floor with half slabs and then I guess after we'll put uh, a wall around it made out of something we have um, yeah the uh, the nether brick uh, half slabs on the ceiling um, cobblestone on the floor I was gonna go with nether brick for everything here because you know we got a lot of it it's kind of representative of the fortress but um, thinking about it after uh, you know it it probably wouldn't have been the best idea to use nether brick just because the wither skeletons are so dark too it would have made it hard to see them just at a glance oh uh, so that's that this project's coming along uh, well and you can hear below it's pretty good uh, spawning system for getting magma cream as well even though I have no use for it at the moment we get a lot of cubes in here where are you oh, I want to kill those skeletons let's take them get out of here Oh. Uh, 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 he got me okay we're still fine though so that's that uh, didn't take maybe uh, I don't know two or three hours to get all the skulls I have um, and yeah we've just been storing all the stuff we've been digging out just up here got a lot of chests full of <laughs> a lot of nether rack um, we've gotten a lot of stone swords and I heard and I read on the wiki that the stone swords uh, have the same drop rate as the skulls and I am having a hell of a hard time believing that because uh, <laughs> I've gotten a lot of stone swords and uh, only 18 no 17 skulls from here so yeah well I don't know if anybody can confirm that or not but uh, I have not observed the drop rates to be equal I've gotten probably 40 stone swords and I don't think I'd be that unlucky but uh, enough of that I rambled for a long time there um, I'm not sure how much time I have left on the episode so I'm gonna cut here check the recording and then we'll be back in a sec all right guys uh well i'm just headed out to the enderman farm uh, i'm gonna make a couple new tools i got them all worked out um but on the way there uh i just wanted to ask what projects do you guys think i should finish next i mean i've been looking around my place and i know i have a lot of stuff underway uh there's the iron golem farm uh needs some polishing yet uh, 14 Wall Street that the Iron Golem farm is located inside uh, obviously nowhere near complete uh, the interior of my Campanile needs work um, my Venice area barely got started on it uh, the interior of the Calgary Tower all the way up um, gotta rip out all that redstone uh, we still have work to do at the um, Wither Skeleton farm uh, the nether hub Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, there's just a ton of projects I have undergo under underway right now on the go, and I'd like to finish uh, finish some of them. <laughs> so, what do you guys think I should finish next? Um, I mean, I, all the projects are useful. There's a lot of stuff up and going. Oh, the witch farm is another one, but. Uh, you know, I know it can get distracting. I'm jumping around a lot to different things. It seems like every episode I'm focusing on something different. You know, I was working on the Calgary Tower for quite a few episodes in a row, but uh, haven't haven't done much in there for a while. Chicken farm's all done, but the interior obviously is still a mess. So, you guys can let me know what uh, what you think I should try to finish off next. Um, but, you know, I'm starting to run a little bit low on diamonds, which, um, 
you know, it's a bit of a, a problem. <laughs> but, and, uh, yeah, so I need to do some strip mining, so that's part of the reason I came out here. We're going to make up a couple things, gonna do some enchants, so let's go check out my ender chest down here as we let those guys build up a little bit. I will just turn this down a lot so that I don't go crazy too. Okay, so we got the efficiency 5 pick. Uh, I am going to be adding some enchants to that, so we are adding unbreaking 3, and we're adding, nope, not that one, this one, silk touch. We're putting Unbreaking 3 and Silk Touch on this pick. We're going to name it. And we're going to have a new uh, a new pick. And don't worry. I know what you guys are thinking. I checked it out in single player first. This pick will be repairable no matter what. So, first things first. Well, I guess I can combine these books together. That's 9. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Naming just this 19 holy and what about if i want to do it together with the rename 27 okay i'm gonna work on getting uh 27 levels we'll be back in a sec all right i'm ready to get this pick made up and there's an enderman pissed off at me up there some of them for some reason aren't seeming to take the fall damage so i'm not sure what's up with that We'll have to figure that one out, but we're going to call this pick simply TBM, and uh, this means something. It's um, it means tunnel boring machine. It's an acronym for tunnel boring machine. You know those big uh, round digging machines they have. You know they can they can dig tunnels like you know 15 meters in diameter. Uh, I'm pretty sure that. They had several of them working on the channel tunnel uh, connecting England and France. So they're called TBMs, tunnel boring machines, and we're calling this TBM because it's going to uh, it's going to greatly improve our mining speed. And we'll try that out before I end this episode. So TBM, we got our tunnel boring machine. Uh, next, we are making a new sword. I have a lot of swords in here. You know, I got faux hammer. Uh, uh, these ones aren't named, but we got those. I got uh, Longclaw back at home. Uh, this sword, we are going to be putting Looting 3 and Smite 5 on it. And this is going to be... Oops, I don't need two sticks. This is going to be specifically for the purposes of killing uh, Wither Skeletons. So let's check this out here. 9 and 10... How about combining them? Probably like 10, 15, holy. Okay, I'm gonna work on getting some more levels. We'll get this sword made up. I'll be back. Okay, I'm ready to get this sword done and we are calling this Bonesaw. Just very simple in uh, reference to the fact that we'll be killing wither skeletons with it. So we'll get that one on there. And I don't know, do I have enough? 15, okay, I'll grab those right here. Well, I'm still recording, so. I'm not putting unbreaking on this sword uh, because that would make it unrepairable. Um, I did some some looking, and it seems like putting unbreaking on swords uh, really does quite a bit um, to up the uh, the level cost for repairing. So, not doing that unless it's like long claw there, which is whoops, it's not the anvil, which is just. Uh, Sharpness, which is easy to repair, and um, unbreaking. Just my day-to-day -day sword, so we got our bone saw done up. And I guess before we go, here I can show you guys. Here, the TBM, it's got some damage on it. And it is repairable. 33 levels uh, for one diamond. It's not repairable if I try to repair with another pick, but that's okay because... Uh, I'm only going to be limited by diamonds, not limited at all by experience. I've only been out here for, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. We've got all of those, uh, those two tools made. So I will get those 33 levels, and then I'll meet you back at my base. Alright, I'm back at home, and I have very little on me. I just brought the tunnel boring machine, sword shovel and I'm wearing this uh, fire protection chest because we 
are going to try out the TBM and I think this is going to be really cool. So I'm going to try mining right here and uh, let's give this a go. Got my haste. So here we go. Oh, what the... <laughs> Okay, yeah, so we hit gravel, and uh, we do need a little bit of help from the <laughs> from the shovel to get through it, but oh my goodness, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. So the reason I'm wearing the fire protection chest is that uh, yeah, I don't want to risk um, <laughs> hitting lava and uh, dying, but oh my god, it's so good. And there, you see right there why I put silk touch on it. In the tunnel there, I hit two emerald ores, and uh, yeah, just don't have to stop. Don't have to worry about it. Just uh, go right on through. And so yeah, this is uh, gonna make. Oh, there we go. I've left the uh, I've left the the haste, but this is gonna make mining a lot more fun. Huh, so that is just fantastic. Let's try it just a little bit more on this side. So we'll. Uh, Go back, we got our speed, and just, oh, sometimes you gotta work at it to get the angle. I haven't tried this before yet, so, oh yeah, see, don't want to have to worry about breaking um, things while I'm running full speed that I want to forge it up later, so, oh my god, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> How fast does it break redstone? Instant. Instant break. Oh my god, this is too good. I Everybody's got to try this. Holy crap. Greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> okay guys, so there you go. That is what I've been working towards. I am going to be able to just basically uh, strip mine this entire place. Um, so yeah, I can kind of, I guess I can also do the, do the sweep. Let's try that, like... Oh, hell yeah. It's amazing. Isn't that the best thing ever? Oh my god, it's way, way too good. That's that's borderline cheating. Holy crap. Oh, okay, I'm not going to be able to... Oh, that is why I wore the fire protection. Just in case I ended up in one of those. So, yeah, just been mining a couple minutes here and just raking it in. So, uh, yeah... You guys should all probably work on something like this. That is, it is amazing. Just annihilate this. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. And I know, again, this episode was extremely late coming out. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I am working on it. Um, you know, been a little busy this last weekend. Uh, I had my birthday and I got SimCity. So I, uh, Got a little bit into that. The game's got its flaws, but uh, it's still really fun. So I played a lot of hours of that, and um, i just been busy this past week again. But I'm really, really going to put in the effort to uh, get content out quicker. Um, you know, I, I really enjoy doing this, so I want to get it out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, picked up some useful tips, and we'll see you next time.